What's up my beautiful Virgos? Trust your intuition for guiding you to this Aquarius new moon love reading. So this is covering January 21st and really the new moon sets the tone for the entire month. Really the word month comes from moon. So this new moon is all about what's popping up. All new moons in general are all about what's popping up, what's fresh, what's new, what's incoming, the potential. And then Aquarius energy is a sign of unity. It's a sign of friendship. So it's all about coming together. And of course, in 2023, that kind of spells out the internet, you know, the world wide web. So this person, your love interest could come in through a DM. They could come in through a site that you frequent, maybe the comment section, you guys hit it off. I mean, it could be so many different ways online, but that's just, you know, one scenario, we're gonna find out how this person is coming towards you, who this person is. Let's dive in, Virgo. All right, so the new moon is really presiding over us from January 21st through the 24th, but as I said, this is kind of covering the entire month. It's like the umbrella reading, umbrella love reading for the month. So let's see what's going on for Virgo. Very clear energy for Virgo's love life. All right, clear energy for Virgo's love life for the new moon in Aquarius. What's the energy that Virgo needs to see? So we have the moon in reverse, of course, coming out. So that's Pisces energy. So that means there's something hidden. The star in reverse. Interesting. Aquarius energy. It's funny, the moon is an Aquarius. And we have the moon in reverse, which can sometimes be like a new moon instead of a full moon. And then we have the 10 of stars coming out. Your Virgo energy. Okay, so all the energies are here. Interesting. All right. So there's something hidden. The moon upright is all about illumination, what's being revealed, what's being shown. The moon is very specific with what it illuminates. So in reverse, there's this energy of not seeing something or something being out of sight, something being hidden in the shadows. And then of course the star upright is all about trying to reach for something, but in reverse, it can feel unattainable. So, you know, the star upright is about trusting, hoping, having faith. So I feel like there's something in the dark that you're in the dark about that either feels out of your reach or there's secrets regarding something that you want that feels out of your reach. And then we have the 10 of stars. So this is like a happy family, happy wife, happy life, prosperous energy very abundant, wealthy energy with the 10 of stars. So it's almost like there's this energy coming towards you that's ultimately like very, very beautiful, but it's almost like you feel like you can't attain it with somebody or it's almost like you know you're meant for this Virgo, but with the moon in reverse and the star in reverse, it's almost like, okay, where is it? Like, it's almost like you can taste it, but it's not there yet. So let's get a little bit more for Virgo. Tell me more about what Virgo needs to know for the Aquarius new moon. What's the forecast for Virgo's love life for the Aquarius new moon? Let's put this star energy back. What's the energy for Virgo's love life for the Aquarius new moon? Those back in I'm hearing. Virgo's love life, Aquarius new moon. What does Virgo need to see about what's coming in their love life with this new moon energy? What is this new moon bringing to Virgo? What is the new moon in Aquarius bringing to Virgo? Why does this feel like it's taken forever? Thank you. Okay, dead end. Yeah, I'm getting that something feels like it's out of your reach, out of your grasp. I'm getting that with the moon in reverse and the star in reverse. There's like a dead end somewhere. Maybe this is like an ending with someone or you feel like it's a situation ship that's not going anywhere. Let's get a little bit more on this because that could be like a million different directions. All right. Give me more for Virgo. Tell me more about this energy for Virgo with the new moon and Aquarius. What is Virgo attracting in their love life? Tell me about this dead end energy. 
what is this referencing? Think of both, I'm hearing. We have fish intuition and dog loyalty. So intuition is always about the self, going inward, trusting yourself. And then the dog loyalty, this is like companion energy. It's almost like, I don't know if this is a, I'm not really necessarily getting a cheating energy. I mean, that could have happened with some of you and someone that you're dealing with, but I'm kind of more getting from this that there's something about like being your own companion or following your own intuition. Right? It's almost like with the star two next to the 10 of stars. It's like, why have one star when you could have 10? Like, why settle for crumbs when you could have so much more Virgo? I'm kind of getting that with this energy. It's almost like you're walking away from something. If someone wasn't loyal to you, it's like you're walking away from less than something like that. Let me get a little bit more. Tell me more for Virgo. I feel like you're following your own path with intuition. Tell me more for Virgo. What does Virgo need to see? The hanging man. There's something about taking a moment of pause. The hanging man is also about um, looking at something from a different perspective. So I feel like the universe is trying to get you to flip your perspective on something Virgo let's see what that is maybe it's like this thing isn't necessarily a dead end like you might be thinking they're telling me to take the one sticking out the creeper such random energy Virgo this fish and intuition really go together it's almost like Have you been ignoring your intuition? Is that what it is? With the creeper, there's definitely someone, it's almost like someone is like hanging on to your energy. Maybe with dog loyalty, there's almost a clingy energy with somebody. Maybe you're letting somebody go. Maybe you're telling someone it's dead end. Man, this is kind of all over the place. Okay. Even the bottom of the deck is death. So I definitely feel like you're ending something, Virgo. Give me more clarity for Virgo. Give me the clearest energy you got for Virgo before we go into the charms. Because it almost looks like you're ending something and going your own way, but at the same time, I can't tell if this is you wanting something that's unattainable and you can't really see it. It's like an impasse or someone else is feeling this way towards you. Give me something else. It's almost like too with the hangman and the creeper. Like the universe is trying to get like, hey, look at this creeper around you. Give me more for Virgo. What they need to see with the new moon and Aquarius. Explain this energy a little bit more. Thank you. So we have divergent. At this moment, there are different paths and expectations. So I did expect to see this one because that makes sense with dog paws kind of going their own way, dead end, intuition, fish swimming its own way. And of course, you would want to diverge from a creeper. And then we have give it time, enjoy your time together. There's no need to rush, which kind of goes with like the fish, the moon, intuition, give it time. Virgo, what is this energy? I definitely feel like you're walking away from something that you feel like is unattainable. But at the same time, maybe the universe is telling you it's not like a never. It's just a not right now with give it time. Like things can come back around. Divergent too can mean like maybe it's just like a diverged path to get to the same place. Although it's just not the path you expected to take. Yeah, I feel like you got a creeper in your midst for sure. But at the same time, it's almost like, yeah, I'm getting like a clingy energy from somebody that's hovering around you. But at the same time, I feel like the universe is like, it's it's not right now. But at the same time, it's not never. Yeah, with the moon in reverse, I'm almost getting something about delays. Because the moon can symbolize like cycles and time. So in reverse, it's almost like there's something delayed here. Yeah, it's almost like a not the right time energy. 
Give me something else for Virgo. But this person's energy is like still haunting you with the creeper. But I feel like that's why you have to go away. Yeah, on the hangman, everyone keeps getting in this cactus, which I always take to mean like, that looks like a straight dick and balls to me. So this is like, yeah, someone's hot and horny for you with the hanged man. Oh my God, the hanged man. I literally just got that. How's it hanging? The universe is so funny, joking with me. Okay. <laughs> this person is definitely hot. Maybe that's why they're creeping around you, Virgo. They're like, Virgo turns me on. Okay, give me something else for Virgo, for the new moon and Aquarius. Yeah, there's nothing there for you right now. The sun and Sagittarius, you could be dealing with the Sag. But this is also, this could be something that literally it's like activating in this new moon in Aquarius and by Sag season, it like really takes off. So the 11th house is also Aquarius. This person could reach out to you through a DM, through social media, through some type of internet contact or texting, communication, technology. Um, and it could be a Sag, but I'm definitely getting with the, you know, Sag is the archer. So they're the eternal optimist and they're always shooting their arrow, very much action-based, and always like, you know, trying to elevate, move forward. So there's this energy where this person is really gonna make themselves known to you. I'm getting that obviously with the creeper. And I feel like the universe is telling you to kind of go your own way, like shimmy away from them, Virgo. But at the same time, it's not a not never. It's just a not right now, because 11th house is all about coming together again, unity. So it does seem like this is gonna come back around eventually. But yeah, very interesting. I hope this resonated. If it did, head on over to themoonempress.com. Otherwise, I will catch you later in another moon phase reading very soon.